as you can see, I've not been on for two weeks, and the reason why that is is because we've been absolutely chocker with work, um, training after training, and it's been a nightmare. Plus the travelling as well, because the job what we're doing, obviously we're doing a lot more driving now, and it's forever learning the new routes where we are. So that's the reason why we've got new jobs. So uh, it's the training and then learning the areas where we're supposed to be going to and then coming back down here to the van as well. So it's just busy, busy, busy. But I keep saying hopefully I'll get some more videos out and I will do, I will. Um, I've just bought a new uh, buffing machine for the car so that comes tomorrow. So hopefully I can get a video up on that. And uh, I'll just show you that, I mean, the traffic, what we've been going through, uh, travelling with this job, it's been an absolute nightmare. I'll show you a little clip of it now. Stuck in traffic. Just great. Stuck in traffic. So that's one bit where we're stuck in traffic. And then it's like that all the time, then you're hitting potholes. I've never seen, because we, we haven't been driving as much, and now we are. The country lanes at night time, getting used to the driving at night again, especially Jan as well, because Jan's changed her job as well. That's why she's not done anything. She's been going to the gym and she's been doing well on it. But uh, driving at night is uh, just getting used to it again. So it's put a bit of a drain on us, a strain, and... We're being shadowed at the minute. So it's all good up to now. So we have got a little bit of a surprise. I can't shout it, but we're going to take in Jan because it was a birthday on Sunday and uh, we're going out for a meal which she doesn't know that a few people are going to meet us up there so uh, let's see if we can get her in the video in a bit so, that's right I'm back <laughs> we've been uh, very very busy over these last uh, two and a half weeks three weeks because we've started new jobs and there's been a lot of training now today I do apologize about uh, not doing any videos over the last few weeks but like I say it's been e-learning um, doing some other training and obviously uh, getting used to the new job so we've both got new jobs and uh, it's going good so far so the thing is we're doing a lot more traveling so um the cars are getting a lot more dirtier look at the state so it's time to get out um <coughs> some more car detailing products so let's go and have a look at what we've bought so today isn't really one of the best cleaning days uh, because it's a little bit uh, drizzly and wet so I'm just going to show you one of the products which I bought to uh, convert my catcher into a quick release cleaning 
sort of accessory. Now hopefully this works um, and I will put a link of the uh, accessories I've bought for this um, because people who's wanting to do exactly the same it will help you um, so I'm just going to show you the catch connection what we've got at the moment this is a K2 and uh, if you look at I'll put a link to my other video when people have thrown these thrown these catches away because they're not working and there's a quick fix for that so I'm just going to show you now my little connection to put well you'll see let's have a I can't explain it we'll show you and this is the holes which I bought to go with the K2 now if you can have a look it's the one it's the 14 mil 1.4 connector so let's uh, see if it connects to this machine what I've done I've disconnected the old pipe old tube which I'm not gonna throw away because I can use it for the patio one that's what it is so I've bought this one and I've connected into this bit and then I'm going to show you something really good we've only gone and bought a stubby gun basically this is absolutely um, one of the best things for cleaning your car because it's you've got your long bar and you've got this one so instead of having this big long thing when you're washing your car now I've just got this and it comes with loads and loads of little different connectors with different width spans of the uh, jet so you get them and then all you do it's hard doing this with one hand, let me just put you down, one second. So all you do then, is basically, pull the collar back, pop that in, push it forward so it doesn't come out. Don't have it where it's just a little bit, because as soon as you put the power on, that'll fly off. So pull the collar back, put that in, and that's your little jet hose there's different ones of these like I said I'll show you as I'm washing the car different ones and then all you've got to do is basically pull that one back connect it and there is your little stubby gun for jet washing you can. And there's a little bit more to it as well. We've bought the uh, auto, not an auto glim, we've bought Maguire's uh, cutting compound. Um, so I'm going to try that. I've got the new buffing machine, which I'm going to show you that as well. So that's my catcher all ready to be jet washing now. So it's, I can't, like I say, I can't do it yet, so let's wait for the rain to die off and then we can show you what it's like for washing the cars. So it, just, it just goes to show that there is different adapters, what you can convert your old, like I said, this is the K2. And uh, don't forget don't forget to watch that uh, video. If you've got one of these and it's, it's not working, there's no water coming out, there's a reason why. And that video will show you exactly and I've had a lot of comments on it saying it's worked for them but like I said this is the new uh, method for me now for cleaning the car it's a thicker hose and I've got a bit longer as well so 33 foot it says I don't think it is 33 foot but like I said let's go and crack on get this uh, rain down a bit and then we can go and uh, give the car a quick blast over and see what it's like using the stubby gun so that's the catcher out now all connected just gonna plug it in and then we can test the new uh, little stumpy gun and see how well that performs so let's crack on and have a go fingers crossed everything works
just release a bit of pressure off it. Now the good thing about this, like I say, it comes with loads of little different connectors. So different uh, width patterns for the spray. So let's now go and power it on and see how it works. Honest opinion, I think what it is for me, it's not given as much spray off with the lance compared to this. So, yeah, let's crack on. it's so much easier to get around the car and in between and also having that longer holes which is like I said 33 foot does make a big difference it's not coiling up as much the only thing I will buy is at the bottom of this is a swivel connector which joins on here so this turns around more freely so that's my next thing to buy only a couple of pounds but this makes it a lot easier going underneath and you can buy a little lance attachment which basically just connects on a bit longer and you can adjust the nozzle at the end so you can get underneath the car so you're pointing underneath so that could be your next purchase look at that a lot more easier so now, I'm going to show you something else, which basically makes another job a lot easier as well. I bought another little connector. It's a quarter, quarter connector, quick connector. So then I've attached that to my, my uh, snow form gun. So I'll just show you how quick and easy that goes on. Very hard one-handed, so let's just show you. Well, this is the... Uh, the gun, pull it off. This is the bag of different connectors. Don't use the red one. Uh, the red one is too powerful. It'll strip your paint. So this one just goes on, and that's it. As easy as that. So now I've got my snow gun connected. Let's see if this works. Look at that. quick and easy in a total I think it's cost with the oils cost for 25 I will put a link to everything I bought to convert this K2 cartridge into a quick release one good thing about this is when you turn your gun you can that moves about so it's not a good form on that and it's going all over my camera
mistake, I never put the window up. <laughs> My fault. So, quick connectors, like I said. Um, now it's, I've got to do the rest of the car, obviously, but just to take that off, just makes it so much easier. And then, just make sure that that's pushed in and the collar pushed forward. And rinse off. It gets into the corners a lot more easier than the, the lance. I don't know. Probably, probably people are going to say, how oh, can it? But it does. Believe it or not. I think what it is, it's more. You're more in control of it than on a big lance, and it hurts your eyes more. The trigger on this is a little bit hard. Um, I think if you're doing more than two or three cars, you would start feeling it in your fingers or your wrist. Why I didn't buy one years ago, I'll never know. It's, there's a lot more power to it. And I don't know why. Especially around the tyres, when you're doing the tyres. It just seemed more power on it on the tyres, so cleaning the tyres makes it easy as well. And under the arches. Because when you've got a big lance and you're trying to get under the arch, you've got that length. With this, you can just spray under. More than happy, more than happy with that. That is absolutely the dogs. Absolutely brilliant. It's took all that dirt off. And then uh, my next uh, product we got, and this is also to help Jan's brother as well. He wants his van doing proper. So we've got um, another machine, which we'll show you later on. So I'm going to finish this car off now, and then once I finish this off, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to clay bar it. So I'm going to clay bar it, and then I'm going to machine polish it, and get it up so there's no swirl marks on it. And uh, let's look it, let's get it looking like glass. I know it's nice and shiny now, but we can do better than that. So let's crack on. And this gun also, I was going to say. This stubby gun which we've got is also going to get this decking up because even though it's not warts on much it still gets dirty and very easy and having that stubby gun there's another little connector which doesn't give us wider pattern or it gives a wider you can have a wider pattern so it's not as strong on the decking so it's not going to damage anything the red one is a no-go do not touch the red one because that will basically just it might be all right for doing block paving in, in the joints but no not for your car unless you want to damage your car right so that's the car washed and what i've done is on this side of the car i've uh, clay barred it so i'll show you are you in one of my other previous videos you'll see how i clay bar the car but i've clay barred it and decontaminated it so now it's a matter of uh Gain it back up to a good decent shine so with that help I'm gonna need this thing 
Maguire's Ultimate Compound and the new SPTA buffer. So let's see how I get on with that. Now first of all, I'll give the buckle a good shake. I'm not using the more breeze, I'm just using the yellow one. It's just a mild one. But I'm going to open it up and get more pores in it. It's like the sponge one, this. So I'm just going to open it up. And then... It's going to have one protective lids on, isn't it? Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is basically get the pad prepped. So, I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to prep it. And then, put a bit of stuff in. It's a new pad, I'm just prepping it, ready. Just get the machine all plugged in. Why it is, you always tend to keep these little plastic things. I'm calling my cable back up. Put it on the pad evenly. It's on evenly. And then we're going to give it a couple of dots. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can start on the car. One bit at a time, on the lowest speed, and then get the pedal through. With, Megu with my Meguiars, it doesn't affect the plastics. Not like article. Right, now put on a little bit faster speed. And hopefully, put it on four. Next, we get the microfiber cloth. 
and I need one of them. Let's see what it's done. Fold this. Let's have a look what it's done. Oh yes. I don't know if you can see the difference in that. I can see it off camera. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But there's no swirls in that and it's like glass, it's like mirror. But we're getting better than that. So let's uh, just try and do the rest of the doors. Just give it a little bit of a dab. Give uh, this one a rub. More than happy. Next bit. Speed one, just get the product to apply. And speed it up and get the product working. Then, let's move it up again. Oh, 
Oh yes. Oh yes, as Churchill says. Like I said, Maguire's doesn't leave any marks on your plastic. Which can be a pain to get out. Now that's not even had any polish yet. It's just a cutting polish. Cutting compound, I should say. I'm just gonna put a little bit on that. And then I can do the top bit. Let's have a look at it. So obviously taking this off. Taking it off now. Fold this in four. And then you can see exactly what it's done. There's no swirls in that. A little toothbrush in between this bit and job will be a good one. It's just the rest of the car to do now. Now it's like it, it feels really nice. We've never used a buffing machine before. It's not as easy as just getting on one and using it. You need to know how to use one. Otherwise, I'm not saying with that <coughs> that you will cut through your paint, but the rotary ones, you will. So, let's crack on. That looks brilliant, and it's not even had a polish on it. What I'll do, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna clean all the rest of the car with the uh, cutting compound, uh, and we'll see how we go on next with the polish. So it's the ultimate compound, from Maguire's, which has done that. Now you can see there, I don't know if you can see much difference, because this car's pretty clean anyway, but you'll see the difference once we've got the uh, polish on. The polish and then the wax. So, uh, standing back from a distance, a little bit more in that, but when we're finished, You'd be able to brush your teeth in it if you've got any. So that's the car done there. Um, like I say, it's been raining on and off, so I've had to stop a few times. But you can see now, a bit of rain on it now. It's had its polish on. And it's been raining again, so. So the buffer I'm happy with, the stumpy gun, the jet wash gun, that is absolutely brilliant. Especially for like doing inside the door sills and things like that, you know, the door jars. It's uh, absolutely brilliant. So I'm more than happy with it. A lot happier with it. So, like I say, I've got the rotary one and I've got the DA polish in there. So uh, you can just see. <laughs> So 
So if you do have one of these uh, polishes, just be careful. Uh, practice on somebody else's car before yours. Joking. Um, yeah, it is. It is a good machine. And like I said, I'll put all the links down below where they're from. Most of them's from Amazon anyway, um, because it was cheaper than the main site itself. And it's only the same thing. So yeah, I'm happy for once. So tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna get the carpets cleaned inside it um, and the Jan's car as well, because I promised I'll get hers done. So yeah, happy. It's not the best of days today anyway, to be honest with the weather, but uh, at least we're getting there. And I'm up and uh, doing videos again. So thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, welcome me back after two and a half weeks. And like I say, I am sorry over that. But I had to do all my training. I had to get all that out of the way. And I had to concentrate on that. It's uh, been hard work. And plus I've been shadowed as well. And now I'm off my shadowing. And I'm free to fly, fly solo as they say. So uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.